Hi, um, my name is Ketra Bartek, uh, aka The Cuddly Killer on the social medias. I train out of Gracie and Mita Austin, and I am a Girls and Keys ambassador. And I'm here to show you one of my favorite moves. So you can either, it's either referred to as the five finger choke, it's a guillotine choke, I call it the chin strap guillotine because that's a perfect description of what it is. So when you do this choke, uh, some quick tips before you start. Think of yourself as a T-Rex or an evil uh, villain. You're gonna keep these elbows in tight, keep everything, your arms in tight, like you do T-Rex for a lot of jiu-jitsu, but you're also gonna have this nice little bend in your wrist, which you don't often do. Uh, so think about like, in a villain scheming. So anyway, here's my partner. We're just going to go over the details of where you finish and I'll show you some ways to get into those positions in, in a minute. So this hand, cup the chin, I got nice control. I'm going to pop this shoulder forward over his neck, boop, elbow in, arm. I like to do arm in. You can do arm out, it's easier to finish, but you have less control of the body. So here, I want to nice up to my armpit. I'm not gonna finish back. I'm gonna do a little side crunch as I do a little ice cream scoop. Boop. So again, not back, but he's nice and in my pit. Ice cream scoop, squeeze, side crunch. Uh, probably number one way you'll end up there is doing a snap down. Uh, just basic, I'm gonna scoot his back, get nice control, back his neck, his arm, and I'm going to lower myself and bring him with me while I step back and make space where his body's going to go. So, down, I'm going to bring this over, get his chin, shoulder in the back of his neck, in, bring my hips under, not reaching back, but just a little side crunch and ice cream scoop. Boop. Uh, I like to do this move from guard a lot. I'm a big guard player, so I'm going to show you some details from the guard. I'm going to show you two uh, good setups. There are a million different ways to end up in this position, and most of the time, it it's not playing for me. It's it's just like I have such a habit of I know where to end up that I get there. But um, two great ways are so you have a sit up guard and they are trying to pass your guard and you just do an arm drag. So grab the wrist, block this here, block the head, and lots of times people will fall back into you. So bring this head over. I'd like to scoop the butt back because if I'm under, it's going to be hard to finish. Go over that in a second. Chin, tuck, arm in. Side crunch, leg over. Boop. So that's one setup. Up there is close guard. One of the most basic sweeps you'll learn is a bump sweep. Some people call it the white belt killer. Um, you always feel foolish, foolish when it happens to you, but it happens to everybody. So I'm going to try to bump him, but he stops it. So I switch over, bring my hip. I'll get a mat, butt cheek the same side as his head. Chin strap, up. Hit in to help this hand, and I'm gonna side crunch, ice cream scoop, leg over. And I have a hard time doing this without sound effects, so my apologies. So, a couple details. As I mentioned, this leg has to go over. If I try to finish, if I don't bring that leg over, he's just gonna hop over, and I've lost everything. And he gets about three points for guard passing. This leg, can be in or out, not a big deal. I will say if you do it from guard, do be careful. The tendency is to want to pull guard and wrap your legs around him. You don't want to. Like feel, um, if he drives into me, drive into me, scoot my butt back. Because I don't want to end up with my hips under him. So if he drives into me or I pull back, this is going to be hard to finish. His head's going to pop out real easily. Additionally, a lot of people want to try to finish it down here by stretching them out, and that just helps them. So you're going to have to come back, scoot. So I'm going to show this a couple more times from different angles real quick. So scoot, scoot, scoot. I really do like doing it this lot again. So I'll come here, movie magic. in my pit. Hug, hug, hug. You know, so those times I didn't even fall away. Lots of times you won't have to fall on your side, but it's nice to be able to, and lots of times you can do it. Just 
scoot up. And you'll, you'll do it until you put pressure, they'll roll over. So you get two points, or yeah, two points for the sweep, then you can still finish from there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that is some details uh, explaining the five finger choke, chin strap, guillotine, and I love it. Do it in gi, no gi. I do it in gi more, but it's applicable for both. And uh, find a consenting friend to let you do it and uh, practice it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.